Welcome to a new era in decking innovation. Today, we're excited to introduce TimberTech's aluminum stair framing system, crafted for perfection. In this video, we'll show how to install a TimberTech aluminum stair frame. A standard four foot wide stair requires only four components. TimberTech aluminum rim joists used to cut the left and right stair stringers, stair tread kits, stair tread bracket kits, and stair landing L brackets. For continuous stair sections wider than four feet, you may also need middle stair tread brackets. First story residential stairs can be framed up to 10 steps using only a single left and right stringer. To achieve a higher stair rise, such as for a second story deck, the best practice is to install two intermediate support posts or a stair landing to break up your stair into two sections. You may also fasten two stringers together, creating a two-ply stringer to achieve spans greater than 10 steps. This method requires review and approval by a local engineer or architect. To begin, create the left and right stair stringers by making two angled cuts on the rim joist. One end is cut at 34 degrees and the other end at 56 degrees. Each stringer will rest flat against the deck frame on one end and flat against the ground on the other end. The stair angle is fixed at 34 degrees, so in some cases you will need to adjust the grade to reach the bottom of the last step. As seen from another angle, the stringer has been cut as suggested. Please note that each step creates a 7 and 1 quarter inch rise over a 10 and 3 quarter inch run, resulting in a 34 degree stair angle. The default width of TimberTech stair system is 48 inches, measured from the outside edge of each stringer. Wider widths can be accommodated, but such an assembly requires the use of a middle stair tread bracket and additional stringers, as detailed in a later segment of this video. The stringers are now ready to be attached to the deck frame landing and the foundation landing. Each corner requires a stair landing L bracket oriented in the correct direction. Pay attention to the placement of the stair landing L brackets and ensure they are positioned correctly during installation. The following guidelines will outline the proper orientation based on the bracket's placement. The stair landing L bracket fits within the stringer's cavity when used to attach to the foundation or landing. Position the L bracket so that it rests on the concrete footing or foundation with the landing inscription pointed upwards. Fasten the L bracket to the stringer using three TimberTech AF 1 quarter 20 hex head self-drilling screws. Fasten the L bracket to the concrete footer or landing using three Tapcon anchor screws or other specified anchor bolt. To attach the right stair stringer to the deck frame, orient the stair landing L bracket so the top right arrow is snug against the hook of the stair stringer. Use three TimberTech AF 1 quarter 20 hex head screws to fasten to the stair stringer and three 1 quarter 20 hex head screws to fasten to the aluminum frame. The stringers can be fastened to a rim joist, beam, or independent support posts. Repeat the process for the left-handed stringer, ensuring the top left arrow is snug against the top of the stringer. There will be a gap between the L bracket and the stringer cavity. A screw is not required in this hole. Alternatively, a drop step, meaning the first step, is seven and a quarter inch below the deck surface, can be achieved by fastening the stair stringers to a pair of support posts, a drop beam, or a four foot suspended rim joist that is installed using flat adjustable angle brackets on the front and then four inch rim joist sections to sandwich the joist together on the back side. This requires drilling clearance holes and joining the rim joists together using TimberTech AF 1 quarter 20 hex head screws. Now that the stringers are installed, it's time to attach the stair tread brackets. Please note there is a left hand and right hand bracket included in each stair tread bracket kit. For a flush stair, meaning the first step is flush with the deck surface, the left and right stair tread brackets should line up with the top of the deck frame. After installing the first two stair brackets, fasten the rest of the left and right stair tread brackets. The brackets stack with each corner touching in order to provide proper stair spacing and a clean finished look. Now it's time to install the two-piece aluminum stair treads onto the support ledges provided by the stair tread brackets. 
Carefully slide the front stair tread forward and onto the support ledges, ensuring that the piece is flush with the top and front edges of the stair tread brackets. Next, place the back stair tread on the stair tread brackets so that it interlocks with the front stair tread hook. When properly installed, the entire stair tread will be flush with the top edge of the left and right stair tread brackets. Use two 1 quarter 20 hex head screws to fasten the stair tread to each stair tread bracket. Each stair tread requires a total of four 1 quarter 20 hex head screws. Repeat this process for the rest of the steps. For wider stairs or continuous steps, a middle stringer can be used with TimberTech's middle stair tread brackets that feature support ledges on both sides instead of one. Since the stair tread is pre-cut to 47 and 3 quarter inches wide, it is best to design your stair in 4 foot increments. For example, 8 feet, 12 feet, or 16 feet wide. Any width can be accommodated, but may require cutting the stair treads to size. For example, a 6 foot stair would require the two 3 foot stair treads supported by a left, right, and middle stringer. More information including engineering and code details can be found on TimberTech.com or by referencing CCRR-0523. With all of this in mind, you are ready to install TimberTech Advanced PVC or Composite Decking on your newly framed TimberTech Aluminum Stair System as shown in the next video. TimberTech Aluminum Framing, where strength meets style. Step into a world of durability, style, and unmatched performance and upgrade your outdoor living experience today. Visit our website or contact your local dealer to step up your substructure with TimberTech.